Let me ask the man that's gonna have it on his wall. So Marco, you tell me, are you happy with that? Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of G Outdoors. Today we're gonna do something a little different here. We actually have the buck I had taken two years ago. If you guys haven't seen the video, I'll put it up top. But uh, we actually did the scalp, we had cut it. We're gonna plaque, so it's gonna look something like that. Wow! Like that. <laughs> yeah. It's something different, instead of having the European mounts or, or you know, doing the full you know, shoulder mount, having it up against the wall. It's a different version that we've we've enjoyed doing. A lot of less expensive. Oh yeah, it's just, you just gotta buy the <laughs> plaque. And, <laughs> and actually before we begin also, we have, uh, we're gonna also mount this spiker up. This one I got probably, what, three, four years ago. It was the second to last day of the season. It was freezing, freezing. cold, but oh, it was, yeah. we were still with the bow and there was like a foot and a half of snow. And uh, luckily this guy, came by and uh, it was so cold, the pictures, we're gonna show you guys the pictures of the, the spike, there's lines inside the camera lens, that's how cold. Camera malfunction for how cold it was, but this guy got it done, he it shot us some food for the freezer. Biggest bodied spike I've probably seen. He was for sure an older oh, buck, yeah. it was just bad, bad genetics. genetics. Bad genetics, and when I saw that floating steak walk by, second to last day, I was like, nope, that that's coming home in the freezer. We got also, we cleaned up the other, my dad's three-pointer, so at the same time, we're doing a double whammy and uh, got him cleaned up. Stay tuned, guys. If you we're... haven't seen the video also of that oh, buck, yeah. we got the kill shot and everything. Frank got it done. We'll put it up top as You'll well. You'll see how hard a muzzle loader hits the deer. You literally see the impact. The fur flying backwards off the deer. Check it out. And now, let's get to mounting this. The process. Oh, yeah. All right, so the stuff you need to mount your deer First off is a rack, second off a plaque. You pick one up online, and if not, if you're good enough to make your own, go ahead. Measuring tape, some brass wire. It's not expensive and it's super strong. Little screws for the back, pencil, a little plier, and a drill. So let's get to it. So step one, I grab the brass wire, you wanna Take it out and make sure you give yourself a, a long enough length. So what we do here, we, we grab uh, about two feet and we'll cut it right there. And we'll grab a, a second one of about the same length. Grab our hands together just to see. It doesn't really matter, it's just, and it's not gonna go to waste. So grab it at the same length and cut it there. So we're good with that. Now, what we're gonna do with this is, you wanna grab the two tips and just twist them a bit. We caught it into one of the edges of the drill. We closed it as much as we could. And now you hold it slow and you just start twisting the line. Not the line, but the brass. Why twisting it? Because it becomes stronger when it's twisted. And now once you get towards the end, you'll see you won't be able to hold it with your hand. So that's where the pliers come in handy. You hold both tips into the grooves and just hold it. And then you slowly, because if you over tighten it, it will actually break it. So you just twist it till it's an even twist all around. And like I said, don't over twist it. When it's about like this, it's like a braided, it will be perfect. We'll just do a bit more. No need to go fast because you will break it. And look at it now, we have an even all the way through. And you'll be good. If you have a really big buck and you're worried that it's too heavy for the plaque, you could triple, triple it, it'll do the same job. And it's super flexible, but very, very strong. So what we like to do, you wanna grab the middle. So here we have a 10 inch, 10 inch from one side to, a, to the other. So it's very easy. Grab the middle of, of 10, it's gonna be five. I like to use a pencil, because you could erase it if you need to. 
and then you go from the widest that about where your middle is gonna be you want to go like that and like that so here we have eight inches so it's simple number four so do another mark X marks the spot now when you look at it on the plaque it might not look centered that's why I said this is a reference point you start from the middle and it also even depends how your rack is made so now step two grab grab the, the rack and center it with with the deer about just to see like is it too low on the plaque are you happy with how it looks this is centered now does it make sense because some deer you're going to want to put it a bit higher some deer you're going to want to put it a bit lower or like obviously he's he's gnarly both sides are completely different so you got to go with preference here it's not always about being perfect on the line so our middle looks decent let me ask the man that's gonna have it on his wall if he's happy with it looking about like that so Marco you tell me are you happy with that he's he's nodding so we got the the okay <laughs> so now what we could do since it's about in the middle and you're not hundred percent sure and you like the positioning either you could trace it around which is very good and then you'll erase it after so we're gonna give ourselves little little points or just reference points for the drilling and you want to come under the burr on the side here like the scalp does a little U so let me just replace it make sure that we're centered and we're happy with how it looks so we're gonna just trace the sides how it's made from the inside and like that and just a, a notch on the top so you know how you want it to put it now it's very very hard to see because it's dark wood but I have the boat edges and the top and there's our center mark before you make any holes or anything double check because you only have one shot at this unless you want to scrap your plaque so we're gonna put it exactly back over the line see how it looks lift it up and it looks to us it looks perfect right mark you're good oh yeah so here we go next step now depending on the size of your buck you, you might want to do two two holes on each side or just one but I recommend start with one don't do both holes right away on the side here we usually grab the the middle right there you make yourself a little mark like you want to cut out obviously equally on both sides so when it's pulled back on the rack let's say we're gonna do it right in the middle here where there's no none of these lines that could separate on the scalp so we're gonna go just a hair higher it's not gonna be a big hole don't forget you're just putting a small mesh wire so a tiny hole there and it'll come perfectly through it's super inexpensive the whole roll you can see here and that's over here two dollars and 99 cents and I've used off this roll already many times this is actually the stuff we do snares for the for the rabbits but works great for mounting our our deer on the sides I made very hard to see but little equal marks on both sides the little pencil mark that you see over there up here on the side I don't want to so we go there now if you have a, if you're alone and you have a, a vice put the rack on the vice so you it doesn't start moving while while uh, drilling we're just using a little a little little mesh I basically chose the size of the mesh by grabbing the brass and just making it a hair bigger you don't need a giant hole just enough that it could come in and out without having to worry that it's too tight just a, a little bit bigger and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna I'm gonna have Marco hold hold it for me since I have somebody here for, with me we'll hold it we'll make the holes super easy if you have the right mesh there we go just tap it off and then you do your tester you grab your brass wire and you'll see here you see it comes it's like perfectly just big enough that you could have room to wiggle and you won't have to worry about it and make sure that hole is centered it's super important that that hole is centered now one final check it's always good to double check or triple check we re-put it on the, the guidelines we did. Just make sure your holes line up with the little marks you made on both sides. Because 
This is the most important. Boat holds line up perfectly. So now you know we're safe. Same mesh that you used. You're gonna come and screw on the lines that you that you made. So let's do this. Obviously off the top of the wood. I don't want any, but right on the line. We're gonna go. Make sure you hold the drill straight. You come up and down, make sure that's gone. That's one side. There we go. We're gonna test fit it before erasing anything. We're gonna see. I usually like to make the holes just a hair away from where it, where it uh, meets with, with the bone. So now it doesn't matter that we made a big enough piece because this will be able to cut it and use it for another one. So what, what we'll do here, we'll grab it. Here, I'll hold it for you so you guys can see. Put it in that hole to the other. Take out the chipped. So there, into there. And now, same thing into, that's what's nice of having so much material. You put it into the other one. straight through the other one there we go so now you see on both sides the wood that we cut and basically all you want to do is pull it closer which I'm trying to do it so you guys could see it and not me do it even if I'm working upside down here so I'm just pulling on the brass wire and we're gonna see how she fits we're on the rack and if you look good it's not tightened in the back so it's normal that it's gonna want to pull down but if I hold it from the back you can see it's holding and what's nice about it is when you look inside there's just a shiny little tin tin piece of metal you can see on both sides like I said see how I made the hole just a hair to the side a 16th over you don't need much it's such small brass wire the fitting on both sides look at that and it's actually really nice. All right, so now that we dry fitted it, we know it's it's working fine. Just pull it off a bit. Come there, magic eraser. It won't really show, but you know what? We're here and you'll never have to do this again. Just go there fast, fast. Erase as much as you can. So there's no visible lines. Okay, so we're at the final part here. We pulled both ends as much as we could by hand. And now here, I did a little loop. And I'll show you why. I'm gonna grab the pliers back here. So we're gonna cut off any excess for now and then we'll fine tune it after. We just left a bit of extra. Now we grabbed a little 3 8 screw. It's very tiny. Obviously measure your wood. Don't, don't put a bigger screw, you're gonna, you're gonna pierce it and then you're, you're in big trouble. You're starting all over. So what we like to do, like I said, make that little loop. I'm just gonna close it a hair because I want the screw to come grab it. So I close it, that is the same size as the screw, just enough so the so it could go in. And this is super important now. Make sure that you're holding the rack in the position you want it. So now we're gonna go in slowly. I won't over tighten it just yet. It's, it's super tight. By spinning it with the threading, it'll tighten the metal, the brass. So we'll do the same thing on this side. I try not to screw it exactly inside where we had the other hole because it's not gonna, you don't want it to come out of the other end. So I'm gonna put it on top, put it right in between the threading. Go slowly. I'm using an impact, but be very careful with an impact drill because you could easily over torque it and break the brass. Now I'm gonna go on the other one. Let's turn that around. Like I said, at this point, if, if you see that it's leaning too much, either you didn't pull the brass tight enough, this would be falling forward or it's too heavy. So that's where you go back and you could do another hole just a bit higher, up, up higher. That goes with your personal preference. Here we see it's actually holding and you're ready to put it on the wall, wherever you wanna put it, you go ahead and she's ready to go. 
If you guys have any questions, you're not sure how it's done or you want me to go over a step in more preciseness, let me know, let us know and uh, we'll get back at you. All right guys, so we just finished up the big boy and then the other two at the same time. It goes a lot quicker when we're not filming it. So we <laughs> much wanna, quicker. We didn't want to waste <laughs> your time either watching it, but that's pretty much how it is on the racks. All three of them, super sleek. It's not very discreet. The backs on all of them, yeah. they're super discreet. Different type of plaque. And like we said before, if you guys want to check out the videos of us getting these bucks, we'll put them uh, up top here and uh, at the end. And yeah, take a look. We'll put them down below also in the description below. If and you guys like our stuff, let us know. If you have any questions or comments or you're not sure about one of the steps that I did. Or if you guys do it a different way. Let you've us been know. Doing it, let us know. We love to hear back from you guys. For sure. And if you have any other questions, if you want to see some other tip videos or any ideas, let us know. Throw them down in the comments below. Yep. And we'll see you guys next week. See you soon. So we'll grab the rack. You need... What is this called? Plot? <laughs> a little... A little... <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, so... Try getting Marco's fingers there on purpose, but that didn't work. Hey guys, I hope you liked that tip video, and I hope it helps. If you guys want to see some of our other videos, click on the links on the side, and as always, like and subscribe. See you next week.